New tonight, he is one of the most famous cowboys in the world. We're talking about the Duke himself, John Wayne, of course, starring in dozens of movies in a career that spanned five decorate decades. What a career that was. And there is now a new exhibit with rare pieces of movie history. John Wayne, Spirit of the West, just debuting now at the South Point, and it is free and open to the public. Yeah, but it's only here for a very short time during NFR. 13 Action News reporter Joe Bartels gives you a sneak peek and explains how Wayne's legacy is helping save lives. It's a trip back in time showcasing some of the memorabilia used by one of the most iconic cowboys to grace the silver screen, John Wayne. Because I didn't come to my father through the screen, he was my dad. So it's not until later that I go back and I watch the films and I get those pearls of wisdom from him. The displays and even the actual Oscar he won in the movie True Grit are personal. Ethan Wayne says his father was treasured for so many reasons. He's a very personable, charismatic person, had a great sense of humor, very kind, very inclusive. The Duke starred in at least 77 films in a career that started in the 1920s. The hats, the unforgettable one-liners, it's what still brings fans together. It shows him as a uh, it shows him with his family. It shows him uh, in a lot of different situations, and uh, it shows him as a, an actor. The exhibit expands across 2,000 square feet at the South Point. The owners, the Gone family, asked for the exhibit to be put up during the cowboy mecca known as NFR. But continues to host it and continues to host a number of events that embrace the Western lifestyle, the Western culture, the Western value set and Western character traits that my father portrayed on screen. John Wayne lost a battle with stomach cancer in 1979. Now, decades after his death, the Duke's legacy lives on through this traveling exhibit, but also his John Wayne Cancer Foundation, which helps train surgical specialists. The John Wayne Spirit of the West exhibit is free and open to the public until December 14th. Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Wow. Yeah, right? It's neat to meet his family. Yeah, it's this. great to see that. I didn't realize he died in 1979. It was that long I ago. Know. I mean, as a kid, you remember seeing all his movies oh, on, yeah. on TV. A, nice. Really a global star. Yeah. Loved yeah, all over the world. It's great to see his family here in town. All right, well, Amazon's annual private employee party is now open to the public for the first time ever. That's right. It's now known as the Intersect Festival, and it's happening now at the Las Vegas Festival grounds behind us near Sahara and Las Vegas Boulevard. Now, Amazon says there are three climate-controlled stages, digital art installations and gourmet food. And one of the highlights is a drone show honoring women in technology. So we have 500 drones that are going to be right up here um, doing an amazing, beautiful show, creative directed by Casey Musgraves and uh, designed and programmed by a female-led engineering team. And the concert will be followed by a $50,000 donation to nonprofit educational initiative Girls in Tech. All right, so between cable, internet, and streaming,